On this gym, a $4,800 Rolex watch. The store owner didn't want to show his face on camera, but says the jewelry is 14 karat gold and silver with a near one karat diamond on top. She tried it on, and while she was trying it on, she wanted to try on another watch. So he said, no, we only can take one item out from the showcase. Moments later, he says the woman ran off with it on, leaving his employee running to tell him. I immediately ran after her. When I ran after her, there was a white Mitsubishi park outside. I recognized the guy. A guy the owner says was at the store with a woman at least twice before looking at Rolex watches. He believes she wore this disguise when she returned. This is our hard-earned money. You know, we work very hard for every single penny. We do not have the insurance that will cover this kind of loss. I wish that, you know, these people would understand that, you know, we have a family to run. We work every day. Okay. So, drop that beat. All right, man. So, this niggly bear decided to steal a Rolex watch. Instead of going to get a job and work for you want, nah, we're just going to steal what we want. And this is the problem with some of you ungrateful, low-life ass son of a bitches. Because you think you can just sit here and get away with stealing other people's property, other people's stuff. You think that nothing is going to happen to you. You're thinking that life is all about jokes and games until one day you come across somebody who lays you out. Or better yet, even worse, you're you're going to push your luck to the point where it's going to run out. This niggly bear think it was cool to steal a Rolex watch. And you got some ignorant ass people out in the world thinking, oh man, that's the move. Oh man, that was kind of smooth. Oh man, steal me one sis and all this other weird shit. You motherfuckers are an embarrassment. Anyone who's rooting for this shit, you are an embarrassment. You really are. This is the type of bitch who listens to Megan Thee Stallion, Nicki Minaj, Cardi B, and all these other hood boogers that you single black women listen to on an everyday basis. You listen to this shit. And if you're supporting this shit, shame on you. You know? But hey, I mean, it's 2020. The fuckery is just going to continue. You would think that these people will leave that fuckery in 2019. Just like the Sims. You would think they left that shit in 2019. But instead of leaving it in 2019, you're bringing it in 2020. I mean, goddamn. You niggly bears, there's no stopping you. No Shelton Benjamin. You motherfucking niggly bears are a bunch of fucking idiots. Especially this one. Because if you would have stole from me, I'm going to be honest with you. You would have got the hell beat out of you if you would have stole from me. I'm just saying, and I'm pretty sure most people can agree with that. This is the problem with people. Y'all think y'all could get away with stealing everything, but you never think about the consequences. You never think about that. So when they catch you, and it's only a matter of time before they catch you, you're going to have a lot to think about. You're going to re- you're going to resit you're going to sit in your cell and think, "Damn, was this really worth it?" Just for some social media clout. Because a lot of you people do a lot of things for social media clout. You lie about illnesses. You lie about going homeless. You lie about a lot of shit. And this niggly bear, she just the definition of the Megan the Stallion group. Because you can tell she looks like Megan the Stallion in this shit. You know? And I bet you she's one of these dumb broads who call herself a stallion. <laughs> they don't even know the definition of a stallion. They just say, hey, I'm a stallion. Well, guess what, uneducated hoes? Stallion means boy, okay? Stallion means boy. So you're basically telling all these thirsty-ass, pathetic-ass simps that, hey, you're a boy and you got the same thing they got. It's kind of sad, but you know what? I'm not surprised. Because this is the generation that does this fuck shit. You know? So, hey, I hope they catch you, niggly bear. You know what I'm saying? And it's only a matter of time before they do catch you. Trust me on that. 
And on that note, there's been your boy Deku two times. Be sure to check out my social media links linked in the description below. Run those numbers up by subscribing to the channel and sharing this on all social media outlets. And yeah, man, y'all see that niggly bird? If you know who she is, don't be afraid to snitch. Because if you allow this shit to go down, they gonna keep doing it. What if they stole from you? Just saying, man. On that note, you already know who I am. I'm out. Bang. <laughs>